Stadium. That was exciting, Erica. It certainly was, Jason. The legend of Khalil Tate continues. Running back Nick Wilson said after the game, it's just Khalil being Khalil, so it's nothing they haven't seen before. But Khalil Tate becomes the first quarterback to rush for at least 200 yards in consecutive games since 1997. No records broken tonight, though, just a really important win over UCLA. This has been uh, a point of contention of not playing well and beating UCLA. There's no question about it. And, um, it wasn't a monkey, it was a gorilla. And it, we didn't talk about it much, but you know, we, you know, we just wanted to play well. I wanted to play well. They're a team that comes out and fights, especially in the second half. It's what they're known for, so we had to just turn up one more notch. So I think, I don't think it was nothing much, but just, uh, just more intensity. I mean, I'm a lot more comfortable, you know, being understanding more, being more knowledgeable of the offense and offensive line blocking as good as they do and receivers staying patient, it helps a lot. Now, this was a really good win for the Wildcats on both sides of the ball. The offense was going, obviously, but it was the defense that was really feeding off of the offense. As you saw in the highlights, and you mentioned, Jason, Kylan Wilborn had four sacks tonight. Not even Scooby Wright had four sacks in a game during his time here at Arizona. But they'll be put to the test again next week against Cal, who just upset the eighth-ranked team in the nation, Washington State, last night. Jason, back to you. Thank you.